Hi guys, long time no see. Uh, as it is the first weekend of my holidays and we'll be leaving to France and I wanted to vlog, I decided I needed to pick up some pace and get back into blogging a little. So I'm starting today on Saturday where I'm at home with the kids alone because my husband has to work all weekend and I got two things in, something I ordered and some PR things and I'm quickly going to show you what I got. The first thing is from a PR agency that I worked with and they asked for my media kit and when I wrote them my media kit oh, that's lovely. Um, they said, yeah, well, we have the right customer for you. And when I looked up the customer, it was skin 689 firming for decollete and upper arms emulsion. So yeah, definitely for the more mature ladies that have saggy skin. So I was kind of not flattered, but hey, anything in the name of beauty. First one is the firm skin decollete and neck. So firming my boobs and neck, which is always a good thing. And the second firm skin upper arms. And the second thing is something I ordered together with my mother. It's from Douglas, which is kind of similar to Sephora, a high end and low end uh, drugstore beauty store. And yeah, they usually have special advice sale so I managed to sneak some advanced night repair recovery complex 2 for 20 euros less and then they have mini sizes so I picked myself up a mini size of the glam glow gravity mat because this is just 10 euro and I don't have to invest in the full size if I'm not sure if I like it oh this is for my mother she wanted to try the anayake mascara this is a point perk long comes hypnose doll eyes mascara a mini i remember using this mascara and loving it then another sample the monsieur big mascara i ordered that one this is again for my mother the estee lauder day wear sheer tint moisturizer in spf 15. ah yeah i can't show you this one because it's packaged as a gift it's something that i picked up for my husband because his birthday is in october you'll be excited to get something packaged this way now that i look at my skincare purchases the gravity mod firming decollete firming upper arms i can send the theme here and there's something that i've been meaning to do for a little long long time and it's washing your hair not with shampoo but with rye my sister did it a while ago um she liked it but she found that uh, her hair got greasy pretty easily so i'm going to give it a go and you just add three spoons of rye flour and add some water and then apply that to wet hair and see how it turns out so i'm going to do that so far my hair doesn't feel that different it's a little stiffer i think in maybe a little tiny bit more wavy in texture but yeah that might be because i didn't use a conditioner so let's see how it looks when it's air dry but until then let me show you what i'm up to today i don't know if i ever told you but this is all the closet space i have yeah, my jewelry is a mess and i share it with my husband and despite it being a little counterintuitive because i'm leaving for my summer holiday tomorrow I'm going to go through all the clothes and see what I got to see me through the colder season. And to help me remember, I wrote down everything I feel like I'm missing. This is still summer stuff. If I get something in the sale, this is fall stuff. Jeans would probably go over there as well. And then that's stuff for work. Not that much actually. Now shoes. See the problems with me and shoes is that they're either that high that I can barely walk in them or I literally wear them to pieces. Can you believe that I still wear these to the office? I desperately need new ones. And a quick hair update. I did absolutely nothing to my hair except yeah wash it this morning. There's no styling going on. And if you ignore the ends because I'm way overdue a haircut, I think my hair looks pretty good. It's not greasy at all, it feels really clean and soft to the touch. So yeah, I'm definitely going to do this a few more times, but I don't think every time because it's quite messy and yeah, needs some preparation. It's not as easy as just jump into the shower and shampoo the head. 
And then it was time to leave for France. We usually drive through the night so the kids can sleep in the car and we arrive to beautiful sunrays and of course to some croissant or pain au chocolat. The first week was spent visiting the markets, generally relaxing and enjoying all the food because there's nothing better than a French farmer's market with lots of things to try at the end of summer it's just so much richness of course i had to stop by and check out some clothes and some cosmetics me being me but you wouldn't have guessed less and yeah that's me and my daughter shopping for some jewelry at the street markets and we managed to pick something up as you can see like mother like daughter and of course i had to enter a french pharmacy because yeah all the great stuff Chocolat chaud, café au lait, all with beachside view, some afternoon walks spent at the beach, perfect. Today is big fête de bagnoles, which is something like carnival and there's food at the beach and music. One part of this music is Sardinia. It is a traditional dance and it was used during resistance to uh, pass on information. The other part, not as traditional, look at the cider he's given me, some yeah, pop music, everything served at the beach. We went for moule frites, which is some crisps or french fries and some freshly ready-made mussels, delicious, paired with red wine, of course, because there are a lot of vineyards down there. And then we went down to the beach, sat down with some friends and enjoyed the fireworks. And having fireworks shoot into the sky while you're sitting at the beach enjoying yourself is absolutely perfect. Way better than New Year's Eve, at least in my opinion.